Folks, what you're looking at there is the world's most cold tolerant palm tree. So that is a needle palm or Rapatophyllum hystrix native to the southeastern United States. And uh, this has been growing in our garden here on the north end of Salt Spring for approximately 15 years now. Now it's been quite some time since I've done an update on this. And I did have a YouTube viewer ask about it the other day. And I was watching that video and it was dated early July 2011. So it's November 5th, 2016 now. And you can see it really hasn't increased. Well, it's increased a bit in size. I shouldn't say that. But at 48 degrees north latitude here in the southern Gulf Islands, off the southwest coast of British Columbia, Canada, they do grow at a much slower rate. So this one would be happier if it was growing in full sun because at this latitude they can tolerate full sun. And where they're native to, they probably prefer to grow in partial shade because of the extreme summer heat. So this is a suckering palm. You get offsets here. Those are offsets. And uh, they call them a needle palm because you get these vicious spines that come off the stems right here off the trunk like a porcupine. Basically needles like a porcupine. So needle palm or porcupine palm. And the uh, fruit is born within the... Uh, within those spikes there. So when they do produce fruit, it's very hard to probably get out without jabbing yourself. So good advice is to wear gloves. So you can see some of the suckers on this one. At this, uh, in this location, you never ever have to worry about winter damage because it just doesn't get cold enough here on Salt Spring Island. And um, that is one healthy, happy palm. 100% neglected. I don't do anything with that palm. Let me just dry my lens off here. Got some water on it. How's that? And, um, I don't even fertilize that thing. And it's growing amongst a mixed batch of Trachycarpus fortunae here that I've scattered seed around. So that's Trachycarpus from all over the world. Virginia Beach to Bulgaria, Germany, North Carolina, you name it. And that's where that seed came from to grow those palms. So a mix of hardy palms in here. So that is the most cold tolerant palm in the world. So if you're in a colder growing zone, you might want to try that in your best microclimate. And uh, near it, I have a sable miner mccurtain from uh, southwestern oklahoma and that's also been outside about 15 years now and uh like i say at this latitude a slow grower we have many sable miners in the ground but that is a mccurtain bush palmetto or sable miner and very very cold hardy that's the second most cold tolerant palm in the world so if you want tall these are not going to grow that big but if you want a palm you'll get it with these guys. You got the nice fan leaves on them, kind of the bluish green color. And this one here, I mean, they can get pretty good size in the uh, in the southeast, the needle palms. And there are a few big ones on our coast here, but uh, this one, maybe not so big, but, but happy. So um, I guess they grow about uh, maybe 10 feet tall maximum and probably about 10 foot wide. It's more of a big bush. So for a hardy palm tree, and you like palms in a colder growing zone, that's the one for you to try. Rapatophyllum hystrix or the needle palm. Alright, thanks for watching.